What is up, people? Welcome back to another episode of FTB Continuum. I hope everybody's doing all right. I'm doing pretty good. And we need to get into auto crafting. I'm really tired of doing everything by hand. It is not fun. Uh, there's a couple of things also that we need to do when it comes to uh, auto crafting. Like, uh, I wanted to make these things, which come from the EFAP, but there's the crafter block, which can be used to auto craft. So, it is something that we will do, and they're going to be here on the side. So, let's. Uh do this because uh, we we don't need power from this side so and we're going to do the same thing on the other side as well we're going to remove these and we're going to replace everything here by an efab block pretty much just so we can connect everything uh i think i kind of want to keep a block in front of the the crafter so we're going to go like this and then this thing here Something like that. I think it's going to be looking great. So, uh, zoom. Perfect. I've also added another bee. Uh, I added a soul bee. So now I've got soul comb that give me soul wax, soul foot wax in case we need it. And it also gives me a memory comb which gives me intellect drops to make bottle of enchanting. Just because we, we might need it, I presume, eventually in the future. So, if we do EFAP base, uh, we're going to need a couple of those. So, that's pretty cool. I know we, we need a lot, so let's do this. So, let's look a little bit at what we need. Well, we're going to take this. And I had an idea of doing about 16 of these. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 16. Perfect. But, these work in conjunction with the storage. So this is something we do need. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 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 sixteen. Perfect. But this is not all. We also need processor, which I believe I do not have the plates. Can we make those in the rolling machine? Yes, we can. Signal them. Let's make. Uh, wait, uh, I don't think the plate actually. Okay, you, you can use it for this one. So let's make sixteen plates. I think that should be enough. Oh yeah, I forgot to uh, fix my floor. Uh, but alright, let's put these into here. The, this thing, pretty much every time I need to restart it, but this time it worked on its own. Perfect. Uh, this beast probably not on the correct beat. There we go. We've got everything signal and plate. So the thing with the auto crafting, you need a processor to be able to do this. And it's well made. It's well made. I'll show you how it works. So, all right, we're going to need four of these. One, two, three, four. Because this is going to speed up the processing of the auto crafting. So there we go. We made a beautiful little quest. Uh, it is this one here. So we need to make these. So let's see what we get in the chest. Eh, saplings and wood. <laughs> Ridiculously useless. And uh, I'm kind of looking at... Uh, well, we, we can now place these pretty much like they were before. Wow, my lag is real this time. Uh, simply because now that we got the power optimizer, we don't really care about RF anymore. Everything should be fine. Oh, All right. So we're going to do this and then we're going to place the RF right here. Uh, these things are not connected to any power at the moment, but it's still fine. And what I think I'm going to do is place these over here. Like so. So now we've got the four. And like I said, I want to place a couple of doom. So let's do EFAB base. And we're also going to need andesite. There we go. Some polished andesite just to make it look pretty. And let's do this. So we're going to do bam, 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 bam. I'm not sure if it can go through the boiler. This is something I should test. Uh, well, we can test it. So let's see. Is it going to go through the boiler? All right, we're going to put that there. No redstone signal. Yeah, this is normal. I kind of forgot about that one. Hmm, how will I connect this? Because they need redstone. So maybe in the back? I could like put the lever in the back and that would give redstone to our thing. I think that's the way I'm going to do it. 
So pretty much, well, let's see if this thing works. So, oh yeah, th that that won't work. Um, we need. I think the the fastest I can test this is with the uh, planks. We're gonna make some chests, and we're gonna see if we actually need to connect these or if this is fine. So, all right, we're gonna do this. We're gonna. Oh, we we need, uh, of course, an inventory. So that's it. If they connect to each other, one thing I could do instead is push this one, place the in the site, and in the back we will put the item storage. I think that that's the way we're gonna do this. And we're we're still having lag for some reason, but I'm the only one. C O F H D P S. Everything's at twenty, but there's still lag. I don't know what it is. Uh, let's remove these. Perfect. Uh, we're gonna connect it to uh, maybe to this one there. There we go. That seems lovely. And in the back we're going to place these storage. Perfect. And then in front, just, just so we we have everything correctly, we need redstone blocks. It's just going to look better with the redstone blocks. Let's grab a stack of these. Perfect. Let's place these at the bottom. Like such. And this one already has my recipe. So let's look. Ingredient missing. That, that's normal. Let's put this there. Okay, so it does seem to work because it's connected through another block. So it does work. And this thing, as you saw, well, it just crafted what we wanted it to craft. So this is pretty cool. That means that this is working. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's actually perfect. That's actually perfect. So let's put this one over here. Uh, that one over there. And let's do the same thing on the other side. Uh, this is the spot. Okay. Perfect. Uh, we're going to need to break this one. Place these going all the way to the block we broke. Place these... Uh, I think I'm going to place that in the back. Uh, by the way, this this is one thing that's been already uh, told to uh, MC Jenny. Uh, the fact that the blocks, even though they don't take the full size, Currently, I'm breaking this block, even though I'm aiming at the one in the back because the hitbox are the full block. Same thing when you place one of these on top of a block, it takes the full block instead of just part of it. Uh, I do hope it's going to get fixed because I do believe that it might be something that is needed. All right, so there we go. Got these set up. Oh no, we need redstone at the bottom here. So let's place our eight blocks of redstone. We might need more than 16 of these craft. I don't know exactly how many we need to craft, so... that That's kind of the way we're going right now. Uh, I kind of need to have access to these blocks, so I'm going to go in the back. Uh, by the way, you can probably see that now I've got, like, copper on my uh, pickaxe. Uh, I needed experience, so I decided to go with mining. And when you add copper, it adds experience to your block. Uh, well, to to your uh, to your mining, so you get experience for mining any block. So this is pretty cool. All right, let's put these over there. And one thing that is cool is over here uh, we're gonna rename them, and the the storage in the back as well. When it's renamed, it's only going to work with the block that is named that way. So. Over here, we need to find out what we need to automate. Uh, one of the things we need to automate is, of course, these stupid, stupid, stupid... Oh, wait, I kind of forgot one thing. Um, I think we need to do this a different way, guys. Because we need to output from those crafters. Uh, I think the reason why this is lagging, it's because of the fact that it's the EFAB and it's recalculating when I remove things and add things around it. So, alright, let's see levers. 
Okay, we, we need a bunch of these, so 64 should probably do it. So I'm thinking... Uh, this should propagate the block behind. Let's see. No redstone signal. Dang it! That does not work. Um, How can I do this? Huh. I might... I might need to push these block one higher. And then I'll just place blocks behind with piston. Yeah, I think that's the way we're gonna have to do this, guys. Man, I really thought this was gonna be a little bit easier. But the thing is, these blocks would all put over here, so we need to grab the blocks out and send them to somewhere in the system, so when we're gonna use the auto-crafting with this, with everything. But, what I'm gonna do, because uh, it's been a little bit since we started working on this, uh, let me just redo it, make sure that everything works, and we're gonna connect it to an ender chest as well. And I'll bring you guys back to see the final product, and then we're gonna work in AE auto-crafting. Because this is fun, but it uh, doesn't really make any changes for us if we don't have AE for auto-crafting. Alright guys, it actually worked out pretty good. So I've got my two chests. Uh, they, they both go to the system. And over here, they're all there with the recipes and stuff. So what I want to do is I want to show you a little bit how this works. So if I take gold, like so. And we're, we're going to call processor, logic processor. Let, let's just start one with logic processor. So this one here, we're going to call it a logic processor. I never remember if it's 1C or 2C, so processor. Oops, I'm, ta I'm, I'm writing at the bottom at the moment and it's not writing. Processor. Okay, uh, I, I was correct with 1C. So we're going to call this one... The same thing, so logic processor. So now, if I say put that there, it's gonna say missing ingredient. If I place one here, it's not gonna grab it because it needs to be in the one that has the same name, which is this one. So at the moment, the only issue at the moment, and it's already been said to MC Jetty, is that it's not taken in account the the power optimizer, which it should. And as you can see, it's going straight into the system. And from the system, we're gonna be able to send it somewhere else. So this is pretty cool. The only thing we're gonna have to do is connect like a cable going from here to uh, these machines to uh, input the items that need to go with the craft that goes here. So we're gonna have, of course, one for all of those. Wow, this thing is really slow. This is ridiculous. Ridiculously slow. <laughs> so I moved a little bit the things that were over here. Oh, one thing I wanted to to do. It's I wanted to replace this one here. Just just because I, I thought it looked better. Oh, like so. So this is pretty cool. I like the look of this. Uh, everything's working nicely. This thing, like I said, is slow because... Uh, if I show you, there's 26 in there. I'm gonna take 64 over here. So, uh, gold. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna place this here and click start. And this thing's done, and this one still has 16. So, <laughs> as you can see, it would be nice if this thing would, uh, work. But, uh, there, there's kind of an issue. So, alright, now it's time to get into Applied Energistics. Yeah, I, I won't do any effect on this, so it's going to be as lame as it was said right now. Uh, <laughs> let's put these in there. Uh, that thing, this thing here. Why not put these as well? Perfect. So, the thing that we're going to need are these things here. So, we're going to need to make a bunch of these. And they're going to be 64Ks, but we're also going to go with uh, the coprocessor so we can craft more than one thing at a time. But, there's also other things we need to do first for this. Uh, by the way, I did not say that, but uh, I made the quest for this. I did not place anything, but it's just so we can start going around here. 
So I thought it was uh, quite useful. Uh, we also need to make the, the crystal growth accelerators. I didn't do that. Uh, but yeah, we need a any pattern terminal. Well, we'll need some of that. Uh, let's make like 16 of this one. There we go, 16. And uh, we're going to need a couple of those. So... Let's keep six for coprocessor. And everything else will be this. Yeah, I made a little bit of 64Ks. Just a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, so now we're going to go with uh, this thing here. So let's do the six coprocessors. And now we've got the blocks that we need to connect. So this is pretty cool. Uh, I was actually thinking of placing like a, a whole thing here. But then there would be like this side, which would just look weird. Or this side at the bottom. Uh, I'm still not sure. It's just because this thing would look weird if I place the, the whole processor here. So that, well, the thing we could do is do two processors in here and place some brick at the bottom. So let's try this. Of course, uh, I don't I don't have enough to do like a whole thing as processors, but the, oh, they're right here. I was looking for this. So, all right. My idea was that we cut this in the middle. And eh, I'm trying, trying to place blocks that are too high for me. That doesn't uh, work. All right, perfect, like this. And then we would have just these, maybe like coprocessors on the side, and then this thing in the middle, and it would give us our processor. Yeah, that's not bad. That is actually not bad. It fits in because of the same color scheme. So that that's not bad. We just need to pass a cable all the way over there now to connect this. But this is not all. You need other things to make auto crafting. You need, well, if you want to do crafting, you need molecular assemblers and interfaces. So let's make like 16 of these and 16 of these. That's pretty good. I like this. Oh, my mind just thought of something. One, two, three, and then we put these in the middle. Separation. Hmm. Yeah, no, we're not going to do that. I think we're going to use li little spaces like here to do it. So, we're gonna go like this. I, I normally never do it like this, but uh, people have been using this, so why, why not do that? The thing that I don't like about this is if you do crafting here, these three are busy. So, if this one has a recipe, well, it can't use this one, it can only use this one. And then if these two make recipes, the only one available is this one. So you, you kind of use your molecular assembler for this. And normally, I, I think I'm going to go for what I do normally. It just makes more sense in my head. Uh, I, I normally go for something like, let's get in the corner right about here. Two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven. Oh, I thought I was going to do eight. So we're going to do seven, I presume. There we go. And then, well, these are just going to go and be connected like this. So the difference between the other one is now one of these has four molecular assemblers for only one. So that is a lot better. So one thing that I do need to do with this is I need to connect everything. So let me move my controller at the bottom, redo the cabling in the back. Uh, and we're, I'm also going to place more molecular assembler on there just so it's full. And we've got something to actually work with. And over here, well, I guess we can do this for now. Uh, I'm going to finish this as well. And I think I can actually do the other side as well. Uh, we're we're going to need way more than this, but maybe the other ones are just going to be hidden. Uh, these are going to show. Uh, well, we could place some at the top as well. This thing's like all open, so we could just put a couple at the top. I think I might do this. But yeah, 
So, all right, let me let me connect these things so we can actually use them. I'll bring you guys back just after. All right, guys, check it out. So I finished this thing here. I still haven't placed anything at the top. Uh, I still don't know how I want to do it, separate in the middle or something of the sort. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll turn these inside so they can do pillar in the middle and then make four out of this one instead of me. Well, maybe we want two giant ones because the recipes, like, they're kind of big for this mod pack. So maybe two giant ones would be good. That would make, like, a... For maybe six, maybe eight or ten coprocessor and everything else would be 64 Ks. So that would make like really giant processors. But I did uh, some work. One of them is I rerouted this thing. And also, as you can see, I mined the bottom to be really closer instead of bringing me all the way over there. Because when I'm here, I can do this and this is way quicker. So instead, I decided to place it here. And when I go back... It's super easy, except it, like, places me... Oh, this time it didn't do it. Sometimes it places me and I'm, like, looking up. So, yeah, this time it didn't do it. Over here... So, all of them are connected. Only one of them is actually doing anything. Uh, but, yeah, we, we still gotta set up all of them. Uh, so, with the recipe, we got 16. I already passed, which I can show you. I made a... Uh, a little space at the bottom here where we can place some cables and stuff and I've already started placing like cables. Uh, I know I could just pass a P2P channel, it's probably something I'm going to do eventually, but for the moment this is uh, what I'm doing. Uh, but yeah, so over here, I, I kind of need to go in the back so I don't know why I blocked it. But yeah, everything is passed, just nothing's connected. And the same thing on the other side, I did the same stuff. So if we do this, can get in the back here. And again, everything is passed here. There's eight, so the connection should be perfect. And this one here is probably going to be treated with a P2P channel going in. Uh, but yeah, th this thing, I think, uh, well, yeah, you can see I've got 62 viaducts not used from changing just the way this viaduct work. And the more I'm looking at it, the more I think I should put this thing to the ceiling. So I think I'm going to do this. So if you don't know, the best trick to remove viaducts is you do this with your shift click. And uh, it, it goes pretty quick. Alright, so we're going to change that to the ceiling. Uh, it's just going to be a little bit of a mess when the thing needs to go around. So maybe what we should do is bring it. Hmm. The the issue is that I need to have it at the same height. So what if we do this? Yeah. For for some reason I still get like crazy lag on the server. Uh, I need to check it out. I don't know what's doing it. But like right now, the only thing loaded is my base because of what we changed in the config. So it seems that it's coming from my base that I get lag. Uh, I could check at the bees. Uh, I think I've got one here. Yeah, that could be it. That could be it. All right, so let's remove this one. Perfect. Uh, I don't have any any bees over there. Do I have one at the bottom? Oh, look at the speed of that thing. Boom, we're there already. Don't have one here. We don't have one there. I think there's one over here. Yeah, there is one over here. Okay, so let's remove this thing. Uh, I'm still getting lag. I really don't know what could cause this because I'm doing the, the TPS all the time and TPS is 20. So I don't know what's causing this. Maybe there's a, something else, like another server hosted on the same machine and we share things. I don't know, but it's just get a little bit annoying. But now we've got the CPUs. Now we've got the molecular assembler. Now we've got the things in the back. Well, we need screens to, to be able to make recipes. Uh, this is kind of the way things go. So let's... Uh, Fix this thing. All right. So if you don't know, we actually need the ME interface to uh, make our, our things over there. So that's why we've got some here. It's a perfect thing. So what do we need? Well, we need to go back into applied energistics and you scroll up because the screens are always at the bottom. 
And we're going to need a pattern terminal. So we need to make one of these. All right. And then we're going to need a pattern terminal. A bam, that should give us a quest. There we go. So it's this one. There's no, there's nothing. It doesn't give you anything. Oh, wait. ME interface. There we go. Will it work? Oh, there's another thing. Molecular assembler. Uh, let's. Yeah, look at the lag. It's ridiculous. And the TPS, still 20. 25 milliseconds. So I really don't know what be, could be causing this. And ME interface terminal. Yes. So this is the next one. It's made like so. Quite an easy recipe. And. Oh, there it is. Complete! So we've pretty much done everything except this thing here, which we actually need to do. But let's uh, place these for now. So what I wanted to do, do, do I still have anchors? Yes. So I kind of want to go from this cable here. So I'm going to place this there and that there. So we're going to do a uh, bam. Uh, wait, we, we need to place a cable. Uh, I, I think I'm going to do blue here. I'm not sure if it's the correct. Okay, so wait, we need this here. This is already done, this there. I, I just don't want them to connect. So that's why I'm placing some anchors. All right, there we go. Things are connected. And normally I would put, is there like liquid? Monitor, let's do monitor, uh, no, terminal. There is one liquid terminal and there is a terminal interface. It's just because I got five spot. Maybe I should put, well, the interface is probably going to go away. So yeah, all right, for, for now, we're going to place it here. So interface over here and patterns over there. So in the patterns, of course, you will need patterns. So l let's make patterns. And like in every, uh, I actually want you to take the normal one. Certus. Just because I'm getting it so many times. All right, so we, we kind of need a pattern to make a pattern of patterns. So l let's also make a couple of patterns, so uh, like 20 patterns. That should be enough for us. And the lag. Uh, okay, so over here, as you can see, I've got advanced inscribers. Oh, <laughs> this thing's connected to that one. I, I didn't see that. But yeah, so over here, we've got seven molecular assemblers. The seven that are there connected over there. So that means we can place recipes. And then we're going to come here and say, like, let's say pattern. Middle click, make 10, start. And then it's going to craft for us. And now we've got patterns. Yay, that's it. We, we only need patterns, right? No, no, we don't. So the first thing I want to automate is storage. Because as you can see, I'm gonna need it a little bit. And well, we need to pretty much automate these inscribers. So let's move them because that's not where they're going to be. I, I kind of need to redo the cabling here, like maybe push it back by one, because at the moment this thing is uh, not... Wow, how, how am I doing this? <laughs> I'm like going... <laughs> how am I walking towards the block and going up? It's like there's a ladder or something. Never done that before. But yeah, so this thing here, really, really bad cable management. Do, do I have food? Yeah, 42,000. So yeah, this thing needs to change. And like I said before, I kind of want to try to have these over here. And connections in the back. And I kind of want to have three more on the side. But the thing is, I I'm not sure it's actually needed to have three more. I was thinking that two of these will, would be enough. So I was thinking of another thing earlier. So two of these. Oh, I, I stopped mining. All right. So one of them 
would be here, one of them would be there. This chest needs to go away. But at the moment, it's kind of my input chest, so I kind of need to wait. Yeah. So, and in the middle here, we're going to do, it's the applied energistics. We need to make a these. Of course, we're going to need some things. There we go, 64. We need six of those, I believe. Yes, the recipe needs six. So we'll need a one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do this. And there we go. I probably did not get this quest. <laughs> uh, let, let's just make another one for the quest. Uh, I, I always do this. I always go too quick. There we go. And there we go, the other quest as well. Pure sort of squirt. And acceleration card. Perfect. So let's... Le, le, let me remake this thing here. Uh, I'm really tired of looking at it. It's not my style. So let me remake this. It's going to look a lot better. With uh, probably uh, better things going about. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I connected pretty much everything. As you can see, I've also installed a little bit of these. Uh, I might play a little bit with the uh, angles over here. I don't know, I just find that it's too flat, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, one thing, I could remove us all this one and go from here to there with an angle. I, I could try to see what it looks like. So let's get some end sight. I, I wasn't sure exactly how it would look, so I didn't do it. Uh, and it's a slit? slope slant I wasn't far <laughs> I had two letters right so like like this and this would go there with this and this with that uh I'm not sure I'm not sure about this one so l let me know if you guys like this uh, I won't do it until I get some feedback from you guys uh, we, we could also do the same thing over here. Uh, what I wanted to do at the top over there is place uh, like screen for liquids. So we can just like grab the liquid from there. I believe you can do that. So that was kind of the, the idea. So let's see. Well, now it just needs to have one at the bottom. Like now it kind of works. But it, I don't know. I, I'm not sure about this one. Uh, I'll need you guys' feedback, and I'm also not sure about the blue. So, if you guys want to give some feedback about the color, uh, let me know. Uh, I will not go pink, just just in case, because I know some people will say, PINK! 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 <laughs> but no, I'm not going pink. So, what I want to do for the end of this episode is I want to do some recipes that I kind of need. So, it's to automate this and to automate them being actually done over here. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to come in here, comb, uh, I, I, my Canadian side came here. Uh, so we're going to go into processing pattern instead of crafting pattern. So there you go, processing pattern. And we're going to need this one. Uh, I thought you could like right click, but it seems you can't. All right, and we're going to need one of these. And so one of these will give one of these. So we got this here. Perfect. Nice. We're going to keep it here. Uh, I think I'm going to empty my inventory a little bit. We've got way too many. I know I need these interface. Interface. There we go. And let's do silicon. Because that's one we need to do as well. We need to do circuit. Uh, yeah, I don't have the other ones. So we're going to need, like, uh, let's go over, wait, wait, let's grab a diamond. We're going to go, a bam, over here. And let's make one of you. And, like, let's make half of you, just because we can. And zoom. Perfect. So now we can do the same thing, but for these. Oh, again, I'm trying to, like, you can't. You can reduce, but you used to be able to just, like, right-click and it would put one. I don't understand why I can't. Like, I've done this so many times that I should know. Diamond, let's grab one, because if I don't grab one, it's gonna be horrible. Alright, 
So now that we've got these, what we can do is do this recipe. Oh yeah, we, we also need to do the silicon one. There we go. This thing just needs the power stuff. Uh, so, all right. So we've got these three. Oh, wait. <laughs> I didn't make that one. Eh, I'm just... Just me, I need to have it in the middle. All right, give me that. It's there, perfect. We've got these. Let's remove that. Let's remove that. Let's remove that. Let's remove that. Perfect, we've got four spot here. So we'll need this. Let's get circuit. So we need, uh, we actually got the gold, it's a diamond we need. Okay, and we also need the three processors. So one, two, and three, and some redstone. Perfect, that should work. So let's start with the gold one. And where we're going to do this is one of these, uh, one of these, and one of these will give us that. Then we're just going to change this one to that one. And then we're going to change that one to uh, that one. And there we go. So now we've got the recipe. So we've got the three here. And we need to separate them. So I know gold is actually more often used. So I'm going to put the gold alone in here and I'm going to hide it. Uh, so gold is going to go there and the other two are going to go here. Uh, I actually also use the P2P channel. Uh, oh wait, why is it unlinked suddenly? What? Why did it unlinked? It unlinked itself. Copied, let's go to the bottom, and paste. Now it's linked. So don't click it with your teleporting wand. <laughs> That's what it means. All right, but yeah, as you can see now it's linked, so it's gonna do these. I also need to uh, make the thing to do the uh, the pure sort of squirts faster in there, uh, as the other machine is just way too long. So yeah, these two are connected. Uh, we should also hide this one because nothing else would go in there. So these are connected and we should have the recipe, but what I want is to go make this here. So we're going to grab these four on this side. So one, two, three, and four. Uh, if you remember, the, this one is logic processor, so we're going to put the logic processor, logic circuit. Uh, I should rename it to logic circuit. So we're going to go, uh, this one here will be printed. This one here will be diamond. And this one here will be silicon. And again, these can be hidden because they do not serve any purpose at all. We won't have two recipes in the same spot. So, all right, let's... Go up. And so now everything should be connected, but let's do... Uh, this This one is the calculation circuit. Calculation circuit. All right. And... Oh, I kind of need to put the item. Here we already have the gold. But all right. Calculation circuit. Calculation circuit. Over here, it's going to be the engineering circuit. Oh, wait, we're trying to keep things consistent just because I like it that way. So, all right, engineering, that's, that's, yeah, 2E. All right, so let's do the same thing here. Engineering circuit. Perfect. And here it's going to be Printed silicon, which is like completely different. Printed silicon. All right. And printed silicon. Perfect. So, all right, let's uh, get the material. Well, this one, we can actually do it. Uh, we needed to do this here. Bam. Ingredient missing. That's normal. Boom. All right, so let's get gold. Let's get, uh, it's, uh, what, what is it? Quartz? No, Certus. Well, it's Certus Quartz, so I still found it. 
Right, and a diamond. Boom. Okay, so this one is the Sword of Squirts. And this one is the diamond. So all of them should be good to go. So if we come here and we say we need a processor, so I need some of those. Wait, I couldn't craft them for some reason. Uh, let's, let's like put these in there and let's do like some of that. So let's do, let's see what we can craft. Craftable, there's only one, which makes no sense. It's like the one here still disconnected. It's linked. Patterned? Sure, hide an interface terminal. It should work. Why are they not showing? Oh. Oh, what is that? This thing's not connected. What the heck? Really don't click P2P channel. Like, why is this thing not connected? This makes no sense. Don't click P2P channel with with your with your one. The the weird things happen. Seriously weird things happen. Look, I clicked it then like the cable just changed for some freaking reason. Okay. Let's go see back up there. Okay, now things are connected. Oh, oh, there's too many channels? Oh! Wait, now we're connected to the bottom and now we're connected to the top. Dang it, I did not think about this. Hmm. Yeah, because these pass cables in between. But I need these to do... Okay, I think I know what to do. Let's see. So we need the quartz bits. And we're going to place the quartz bits there. Oops. There. So it's not going to send the power. It's not going to send the number of machines through. It's only going to send the... the I, th I think this might work. Are they connected now? One out of... Why? Three out of eight. There we go. Now it's working. Now it should show. Boom! They're there. So now I can say, make me 100. But you should be able to do that one. Is it really missing channel at the bottom as well? Like, how is it missing channel? Oh. It's not missing channel. It's actually just... That's, uh, okay, we need, we need another P2P channel over here. Okay, I, I think we need, we need another P2P channel, and this thing should work. So let's do P2P. This one, bam, bam, we'll need three, because we're going to connect one at the bottom and two. Well, let's see, do we have more? Yeah, we got the gray cables. Perfect. Okay, so let's connect the one at the bottom. I really need to make more, uh, controller. That, that would help a lot here. Let's connect this one here. Let's do that and that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna save this one. Let's go that way. We're gonna connect this here. And there. Alright. And let's do uh, this. So now this thing's connected. Should be now at eight connections. And then, well, this thing, this is where I don't like this. I kind of need to go around the cables so there's a place I can't walk. But I guess it's a place for cables, so... That's how it's going to be. Alright, and we load it here. And we also load it over here. Because you can't have two output and input. It, well, two output. So it should be fine. And now, still not there. Huh. Why is it not there? One channel, two output. Should work. Should work. Four connections. They're there. All right. Let's see. 
I, I jumped, but it didn't jump. <laughs> come on, come on. There they are. All right. So now I can say 100, start. And now this thing's just going to craft things for me. You can see it's starting to craft over here. Perfect, it's doing its job. And I presume that over here, one of them is actually doing something. Printed silicon. Oh yeah. So this thing is actually working. So I know this episode is freakishly long, but we've got something that works, guys. So I do hope you enjoyed this episode of me trying to figure out why my channels don't work. And, you know, having glitch with the one and stuff. But if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to leave a like. If you loved it, don't forget to subscribe, guys. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.